Power BI Basics continues, and today we're going to take a look at what's referred to as a star schema versus a lookup table. A lot of people use the two different terms interchangeably, but there is a slight difference. We are in Power BI Desktop, and we have of tables, and what we're going to do is define the relationship, set up the data model, and set up the star schema, and then take a look at how this could be considered lookup tables. So you have your sales table, which is referred to as the fact table, and then you have your dimension tables, which helps determine the granularity of your data. Date, customer, and store are referred to as the dimension tables in this example, and sales is the fact table. The first thing you want to do is connect them via the relationships. Date to order date would be your one to many because there's one date in the date table. For customer, we're going to go with customer key as the relationship. And again, that's a one to many, one customer key in the customer table to the many customer sales they may have. And then for the store, we are going to go with the store name, again, one to many. That relationship is now defined. One store could have many sales, but there's only one store in the dimension table. So just the process of defining the relationships and putting them around the fact table, this is what's referred to as a star schema. Sometimes as a lookup schema and how you would do that, it's the same relationships, but people for visual purposes will alternate this into a lookup and how this is done a little bit differently is now you have the fact table at the bottom, look up to the lookup tables, which then would be date, customer, and store. And sometimes this has a good visualization because the data visualizations flow down to the fact table. So slight difference, you have your lookup tables versus your star schema. A lot of times if I have multiple fact tables, a lot more dimension tables, I will use the star schema. If I'm using just a couple of basic tables, I will set them up more as a lookup format. Make sure to hit subscribe and be notified when more new Power BI Basics videos are produced. 